Hope you're all doing well. Chris here, CaribbeanPot.com. Today we'll cook up a small batch of smoked herrings. Um, it goes well on ground provision or as a side dish or even on sandwiches. It's great within some uh, some crusty bread. Um, here we go. Uh, about half a pound of um, smoked herring fillets. I was lucky enough to get it at the grocery store locally here. And what I do, I usually take it out of the package and I put it in a fairly deep bowl and I cover it, make sure it covers with boiling water. What that what that does, it helps remove some of the salt as well as it helps to um, uh, allow it to shred easier once we start shredding it uh, shortly. And there you can see it uh, sitting in the hot water, um, getting all tender and everything. Then I, I slice up an onion, a cube of tomato, and I also slice up a hot pepper. Remember if you're using a hot pepper like a habanero or a scotch bonnet and you don't want all that heat, don't include the seeds. The seeds is where most of the heat is. Um, and here we go, the shredded, um, what I did was I, um, I emptied the boiling water that was in there and I, I put in some extra, another batch of cool water, I drained it, squeezed it all off, and I shredded the, the, um, the smoked herring <clears throat> after which I add all that stuff that I just diced and sliced up to which I also add a couple dashes of black pepper and I stir it around as best as I could um, after which I heat up in a pan on high heat until it's smoking about eight tablespoons of olive oil and I pour it directly onto the mixture that we just put together here what that does it allows everything to marry together and bring the bring the flavors out um, you'll find that uh, the onions, the uh, peppers, and, and, and everything else incorporates really well. And here we go. It's on it's on a plate here with some, some ground provisions. Enjoy, guys. Chris here, Caribbean Pot.